This chart right here demands a $30,000 Bitcoin. Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you why Bitcoin will be touching $30,000 in the next 48 hours. Today, Bitcoin set a new all-time high of $28,625, less than $1,400 away from $30,000 thousand dollars by the end of this video you're going to be walking away with a foundational understanding of why bitcoin is in this rally why bitcoin is going to thirty thousand dollars and why this rally will continue far far beyond that i think you're going to get a lot of great value out of today's video if you do as always consider hitting that like and subscribe button but without much further ado guys let's go ahead and dive right on into it for anyone who is wondering i'm getting a haircut on friday I am very well aware that I need one. I needed the extra warmth while I was snowboarding. That's what it was. So just don't at me in the comments. Okay, at me in the comment section. Tell me in the comments. Remind me down below to get a haircut. I need one. I know. Look at this. This is, this is a nightmare. This is like the old school days. I'm going to take this jacket off. This morning, Bitcoin rallied and hit a new all-time high of $28,600 and change and finished fulfilling this bull flag that we discussed in a previous video with a flag right here and a price target just under $29,000. But to show you why Bitcoin is going to $30,000, we actually have to start Start not with Bitcoin, but with XRP. You see, recently the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission charged Ripple and some of its executives with unregistered securities offerings in the form of XRP tokens. In response, one of the biggest bearish news stories of the last several years has been playing out as major cryptocurrency exchanges begin delisting XRP. We're talking major exchanges like Bitrix and Coinbase, BC2C, Simplex, and even Crypto.com have begun the process of delisting XRP. But why am I talking about about XRP in a Bitcoin video. Well, you see, this is one of the worst things that has happened to the broader cryptocurrency markets in several years. I would say that this is probably the most bearish news story cryptocurrency has been hit with since BitConnect went under. That happened in January of 2018, about two years ago. I'm serious, guys. This is like in the top 10 worst things that has ever happened to cryptocurrency. Why is that? Well, it gives an example of cryptocurrencies more or less being shut down by federal governments, in this case, the Securities and Exchange Commission of the US. But what's been happening to the rest of the cryptocurrency market as XRP has been in the process of being delisted by the largest exchanges in the industry? It's hitting all-time high every other day. So what's so striking about this is that while XRP is having one of the worst things that could ever happen to it take place with billions of dollars of charges being pressed and delistings everywhere, Bitcoin continues its march higher and higher and higher. Why is that? Well... The fact remains that even though XRP is being delisted, Bitcoin is being mass adopted by institutions. Bitcoin is seeing a hype cycle build beneath it. And Bitcoin, unlike XRP, has already been ruled that it's not a security. Therefore, this kind of thing can never happen to it, at least of this type. Major, we're talking billion dollar companies and institutions and individuals are stepping into the cryptocurrency space. We're talking about gigantic names like PayPal, Square, BlackRock, Mass Mutual, Robinhood, and more. Another example would be MicroStrategy, ICE, the Intercontinental Exchange, you know, the people that own the New York Stock Exchange, a $30 trillion exchange, the most valuable on the planet, created Backed. By the way, remember Backed? Remember Backed? Remember that? We all thought it was like the biggest, baddest news story of the year last year. We thought it launching was going to hail a massive amount of institutional adoption into the cryptocurrency space, and in a way it did, but for a time, Backed was the biggest news story of the year. What happened to that? You know, Bact really didn't get the adoption that we thought it was going to. But now what are we seeing? We're seeing every single week a new story, the likes of which Bact was. At the time, just a little over a year ago, when it finally went live, Bact was the largest news story. But now we're seeing news stories like that happen almost weekly. Those names that I just mentioned, those companies that I just mentioned, most of them have been in the space for less than two years. This is a major development that is happening right under our noses. It's moving just slow enough that it seems imperceptible because we don't see movement on the weekly or the monthly time frame. But over the course of years, incredible amounts of adoption has occurred in the last three and a half years that I've been in the space. That's a trend that we're seeing in Bitcoin, that the big story, the remarkable, awesome, amazing event of backed or the remarkable, awesome, amazing event of $20,000, all of a sudden, these big, bad, awesome events, bad in a good way, what, are becoming routine. We're having the exceptional become routine and the unthinkable become the exceptional. $30,000 wasn't the awesome. $30,000 was 
the exceptional. Wow, that's dreams. And now even it's becoming routine. $30,000 Bitcoin. I mean, you look at trading view and it's at 28. And that brings me back to my point. And that is that Bitcoin is going to go to $30,000 in the next 48 hours. And if it doesn't, it's probably going to go there in the next 48 days. It's going to happen very soon. And the reason is because the story that in 2019 and 2020 have painted for Bitcoin is a story of mass adoption. It's a story of the amazing, of the exceptional becoming the routine. And that, my friends, is what exponential growth of an industry looks like at its core. All the while, XRP is being delisted on every exchange. One of the worst news stories that we could possibly imagine happening in cryptocurrency. Bitcoin is marching higher. Why? Because institutions are adopting Bitcoin, because retail is adopting Bitcoin, and because hype is building on Google Trends. We saw that. And all of this brings us back to one of the pillars of Bitcoin's adoption, and that is inflationary hedging. Nine trillion dollars and more have been printed this year. And Bitcoin was designed to be a hedge against those forces of inflation. And that is why Bitcoin is being adopted by the institutions. And that is one of the main reasons why Bitcoin is rallying and why Bitcoin will continue to rally and why Bitcoin will be worth six figures in the next few years. I will leave you with two points, one technical and one fundamental. Let's start with the technical. The TD sequential on Bitcoin's weekly chart shows that a nine flash happened all the way back at the end of November. We have been overextended on weekly chart TD sequential for quite some time now and on the month well december is actually a nine flash on the monthly chart as well typically you would expect a nine flash on the td sequential to represent the top of a rally but if you go back and you look at the market at the beginning of the 2016-17 bull market it started with an overextension on the nine flash on weekly chart and on monthly chart. The last time that this happened on the weekly and the monthly chart was at the beginning of the last bull market that rallied 10,000 percent. And the fundamental reason why Bitcoin is going to go to six figures in the next few years is because gold, we call Bitcoin digital gold. Bitcoin is worth a half a trillion dollars. It's a big milestone, but it's still tiny in comparison to Apple which is worth $2 trillion. One company, albeit a large one, but one company is worth $2 trillion. Gold is worth $12 trillion. And there's over $100 trillion worth of currencies in our modern world. That only grows, and it makes sense that the market capitalization of Bitcoin will grow just the same. For Bitcoin to even replace gold, when Bitcoin has much bigger ambitions than gold ever could, it would have to see a 25x in price. That puts Bitcoins in the mid six figures between 100,000 and a million dollars. Anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and tell me what did you learn from this video? Is there anything that you think I should have included? Is there anything that you would like to see in tomorrow's video? I want to hear your take on all of this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We're trying to grow those platforms and I would love to see your smiling faces over there. But anyway, guys, like I said, that's going to wrap it out for today's video. Before I go, though, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching. As always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh.